And yet, apparently, according to at least the, the mathematics behind all this, gravity is instantaneous. So w w one of the, the, the interesting things is that, you know, the force of gravity, right? We talk about, you know, we were talking about forces earlier, right? Yeah. And we can explain gravity is when, when two masses are attracted to each other. Yeah. Right? It's the force that does that. And yet, apparently, according to at least the, the mathematics behind all this, gravity is instantaneous. So if two objects at different, in different places of the universe come into existence at the exact same moment, the gravity pull between them, no matter how weak it might be because they're far away from each other, will be instantaneous. Oh, no, I didn't so this know is, that. That's it. Yeah, so, so, so this is why, theoretically, people have gone down the path of using gravitons, you know, the, yeah. uh, the theoretical particle of gravity, whatever that is, as a way to do instantaneous communication. Because if you could, if there were a way to measure that graviton or the gravity strength that, that existed between two objects, to separate and measure the gravity between two objects, no matter how yeah. far apart they are, you could do instantaneous communication. That's so this is, you know, it, it's a scientific science fiction kind of idea that based on science. Yeah. So it's interesting, but I'm like, you know, a force that's instantaneous. It's not like this, the object suddenly exists and then there's this wave of gravity that it, it's because those, you know, those two items exist.